How has this happened, people? We've almost reached the end of another year, and not just any year. If you think back to last December, I'm guessing your goals looking forward didn't include navigating a global pandemic and having to pivot every aspect of your life. <laughs> if nothing else, it's a reminder that when faced with challenges, we can do hard things and persevere despite them. Hey, Michelle Cedarberg here, contemplating all that has transpired, what's here for us right now, and what's possible in the year ahead. I'm about to take a little bit of time off, so I thought that I would share one last message with you before I do. I'm in the process of having the Success Energy Equation made into an audiobook. Uh, I asked a colleague of mine, a professional voiceover talent and broadcaster, to voice the book for me, and I've spent the last couple of weeks listening to my words being read to me through the audio clips as she and I work to get that project finalized. It's an experience I'm so grateful for because anyone who has ever written a book knows that after months and years of toiling through writing and edits and rewrites and more of the same, you, about, you become a bit separated from the content and quite frankly, I had forgotten about a lot of the good things that I wrote. <laughs> through, the, through the listening, I was able to experience my book from start to finish, following my process as I'd laid it out for my readers. And in doing so, something quite remarkable happened. I gained insight from my own advice. So I decided to take it, and it couldn't have come at a better time. Here we are at the end of a truly Annus Horribilis, heading into a new year that's not quite done with COVID, and every one of us have decisions to make for how we'll approach it, including me. The Success Energy Equation subtitle is how to regain focus, recharge your life, and really get shit done, which is what we all need to do right now. Focus and recharge so we can hit the new year with clarity and enthusiasm. I hope that you're with me. I've discovered that this book is not only an accidental pand pandemic survival guide, but it's the right book to take us into the new year and into new plans for health, happiness, and success moving forward. And that awareness has caused me to pause and ponder not only my own book, but a few questions. And maybe you want to ask them for yourself too. First of all, how do I ring out the old? Normally it's a time of great big celebration for the year that's passed and my first instinct has been to say adios 2020 if you no good pandemic filled shit of a year. <laughs> but in saying that I realize that it's not what I believe because while it's been a tough one for sure there's also been an abundance of lessons, growth, resilience building and yes even positives. Instead of looking back in disgust Take some time over the holidays to reflect on the gains and lessons and gratitudes that this crazy year has bestowed upon you. Next, what do I need for myself over the holidays? Let's face it, the way we celebrate the season this year will be very different, especially if you're living somewhere that's under lockdown. What can you do to make it memorable all the same? Listen to what your body and mind are asking for, tap into what you need for yourself, and then do it. I've got Zoom visits scheduled with my family and friends. My husband and I plan to ride our fat bikes, walk the dog, cook nice meals, and watch a lot of movies. And I plan to do some thinking about what's next for Michelle Cedarberg speaking and consulting to regain my own focus and to recharge my own life so when January hits, I'll be ready to get shit done in a bigger way. Which brings me to the last question. What will help make 2021 the best, most fulfilling year yet with health, happiness, relationships, career? I'll say it again, COVID be damned. Now is the time to think about these things. Now is the time to reflect and appreciate and plan. And now is the time to enjoy a bit of holiday fun and relaxation because a recharged mind is a creative and productive one. What could that look like for you? Share your thoughts uh, in the comments. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I will be taking some time off and these messages will be on pause until the new year while I rejig some of my behind the scenes systems and strategies, strategize the best ways to 
get my message out there and to figure out how to bring the best value to you, my dear clients, past audience members and friends. And while my posts may be less frequent, uh, less frequent for a while, they won't be going away. So follow me on Instagram to get snippets of my life beyond work. Uh, with a bit of work mixed in. I guarantee you will see bikes and dogs. <laughs> and follow me on Twitter for short and sweet uh, tips and thoughts. And if you haven't already done so, pick up a copy of the Success Energy Equation uh, via Amazon or for a signed copy via successenergybook.com. I'm not just saying this to sell more books. I truly believe that this book is a guide for these times and I promise you an easy read that is guilt-free and empowering. Um, if you've already read the book and you liked it, please share your thoughts in the comments uh, so that others will know I'm not making this stuff up. And go to post a review on Amazon, for which I'd be very grateful. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Michelle Cedarberg reminding you we've got one chance to do this life. I say dare to live it big and dare to believe that you can make this year an abundant, or this next year ahead, shall we say, an abundant, fulfilling, and prosperous one. However you celebrate and whoever you celebrate with, I wish you the very best for the holiday season and a very happy new year. Carpe freaking annum, one freaking diem at a time.